what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful olympiad question we have here on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says 27 to the power of log x plus 3 to the power of log x is equal to 68 and we have to look for the value of x well our first step to solving this question is to say let m be equal to the exponent which is log x that means wherever i see log x i'm going to be putting m there so this is 27 to the power of m instead of log, log x plus this is 3 to the power of m equal to 68 our next step is to move this 68 to the left hand side so we have 27 to the power of m plus 3 to the power of m as 68 crosses to the left it becomes negative 68 equal to 0. so now let's try to simplify this 27 to have a base of 3 just like this one so this becomes 3 to the power of 3 so 3 to the power of 3 is 27 and this is raised to power m that means we're going to be raising this to power m plus 3 to the power of m minus 68 equal to zero now there is something we can do here i want what is here to resemble what is here which is 3 to power m so i can actually do that by switching the position of the powers so this becomes 3 to power m raised to the power of 3 so this is valid because of indices the powers are multiplying so plus 3 to power m minus 68 equal to 0. Now I have 3 to power m. I also have 3 to power m here. So it is easy for me to say let y be equal to 3 to the power of m. So let's substitute y for this. So I'm going to be writing y to power 3 plus y, yes, then minus 68 equal to zero so in order for me to factorize this i'm going to be simplifying this negative 68 so i have y to power 3 plus y then minus 64 minus 4 equal to zero actually negative 64 negative 4 is going to give me negative 68 and it shows this because 64 is a perfect cube just as this so let's Pick this perfect cube closer to this. So I have y cube minus 64. Now plus y minus 4 equal to 0. So I can simplify this 64 to become 4 to the power of 3. That is it. So plus y minus 4 equal to 0. Now you can actually see that this is difference of two cubes. And how do we express difference of two cubes? Well, difference of two cubes can be expressed as, maybe for example, I have P cube minus Q cube. This is equal to P minus Q multiplied by P squared minus P Q. No, this is actually plus, then plus Q squared. That is it. So this is how to express difference of two cubes. So let's write this in this format. Let's do that. So this becomes y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y, then plus 4 squared. That is it. So I've actually applied this like this. So now let's continue with what I have. So plus y minus 4 equal to 0. Now take a look at what we have here. You will notice that y minus 4 is actually common. Look at it here and here. So let's factorize that out. I'm going to be having y minus 4 factorized out. Now what is going to be remaining here? I'll be having this, which is y squared plus 4y. Now plus 4 squared is 16 plus. Now what is going to be remaining here since I've already factorized y minus 4? I'm going to be having 1. That is it equal to zero so you can see that things are getting easier 
Let's go. So this becomes y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y. Now 16 plus 1 is going to be 17 equal to 0. So from here, we can see that y minus 4 is equal to 0 or y squared plus 4y plus 17 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 4 here. But in this other side, so that we don't waste time, we can also actually find the discrepancy. So discrepancy which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And b here is 4, c is 17, a is 1. So let's substitute that. b is 4, so that's 4 squared minus 4 times a1 times c, c is 17. So discrepancy becomes 16 minus 4 times 1 times 17 is 68. So 16 minus 68, I'm going to be having negative 52. Well, this is actually lesser than 0. So there is no real solution here. Remember, we are only focused on real solution. So there is no real solution here. So the value for our y is 4. Remember what y is? We said 3 to the power of m is our y. So we said y is equal to 3 to the power of of m. I've already got y to be 4, so that means 4 is equal to 3 to the power m. So what do we do to get m? Is by taking the log of both sides. So that means I'll take the log of 4 equal to log of 3 to the power m. I remember for the law of, uh, from the law of logarithm, we actually know that and when I have a log, for example, of a to the power of n, the power can actually be used to multiply the log of a. That is it. That's it. So let's express this like this. So I'm going to be having log 4 equal to use the power, which is m, to multiply log 3 according to the law of logarithm. So for m, m will be equal to log 4 divided by log 3. And this can actually be written as, for example, using the change of base, m can be equal to log 4 base 3. So for change of base, this is how to write this. Remember, for change of base, let me just recall that. Whenever I have log a over log b, change of base can actually be log a base b. And this is what I just applied here. So let's continue. Remember we said m is equal to log x. So let's use that to solve. So I'm going to recall here. I'm going to be recalling that we said m is equal to log x, right? Very good. Now, I can also write it like this. Log x is equal to m to be on a safer side. I want the x because x is actually what I'm looking for. So what is our m? Remember, our m is equal to log 4 base 3. So how do we get our x? We can actually get our x by taking the base 10 of both sides. So 10, which is base 10, then log x equal to base 10, log 4 base 3. Well, there is one thing we need to recall. Also from logarithm, whenever I have, for example, a to the power of log, maybe b base a, this can be equal to b. As long as the base here is equal to this base. So we take the number as our value. So the same thing will happen here. Remember that this is log base 10. So that means since I have log base 10, there is an invisible 10 here. I can actually write x just like this, which is the number x. That is it. Equal to 10 to the power of log 4 base 3. Simplifying further, our x is going to be equal to 10 to the power of log. Now, 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. Now, base 3, which can be simplified further. As remember that 2 can actually come back, 
so that I have 10 to the power of 2 log 2 base 3. And since power usually multiplies, I can write this to be 100 log 2 base 3. And this is our final answer. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you find this video helpful, don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.